you know, the relationship I have with Coach Iguano, with Coach Ragel, um, you know, a lot of the guys on the staff I knew. Coach Coop used to come and recruit my school. Coach Ward used to come and recruit my school. So I knew a lot of these guys. So just knowing that everybody came here for a similar reason because we believe in this place, what this place is capable of being, um, and and we're you know want to roll up our sleeves and do whatever it takes to get there. And that's what's exciting. And so it wasn't hard for me to buy into it. It was you know it was a dream come true to, to get this opportunity, not only to make the jump at college level, but more specifically to be here at Arizona State with the right people. And I think that was the biggest thing for me is the group of people that I came in with is what really made it special. With week one being next week, what's the what is the uh, biggest thing for you that you're most excited to see now on Saturday next week? Just compete, man. I mean, it's like get out there. We've been working hard all through winter, all through you know spring ball, all through fall camp, grinding in the summer PRPs. Like, there's been a ton of work that's been put in over the course of the last nine months, and now it's just like let's go. Everything that we've been grinding for, it's it's payday now, right? You've been putting all these checks in the bank, and now it's time to cash it. It's payday, and so you know I, I know our team's getting excited. I, I was getting some texts from guys last night, you know, and that's what you want. You want guys that we shouldn't get to this point and be tired and be burned out. We should get to this point and be fired up and be excited. And I feel like our, our, right now we've got some good juice to get the season started. We just want to go line up against somebody else wearing an ugly jersey and, and see what we got. What was uh, recruiting Shimon like? What was that process like? <laughs> I mean, it's like speed dating, you know? Um, the good thing is, you know, I had, I had a relationship with a high school coach that was connected to another high school coach that he had. And they reached out to me when he went in the portal and I said, hey, this kid's a really good player. He's a good kid, kind of got a, a, you know, a bad rap at Colorado, but that's not who he is. You should really take a look at him. And so that helped. And obviously you do your due diligence and guys make calls and talk. And, you know, you hear you hear good things, you hear bad things. And at the, I think at the end of the day, we're confident in who we are, what we have to offer. And so for us, it's like, let's get him here. Let's spend time with him and see who he really is. And as our weekend with him went on, we liked him more and more and more. And he came in, hoodie on, closed off. Obviously, some of it probably from what happened the previous, you know, four or five months um, was a little closed off. But as he got to know us and what we were about and what we were trying to build here, he started coming out of his shell. And, and I think we just, we hit it off. His personality, Coach Dillingham's personality, my personality, I thought really clicked. And it's fun to see him, a kid that I, the first night at dinner, we <laughs> We were at Fogo de Chao and I was like, I don't know about this kid. He just he, he was just uncomfortable. He was quiet. He was kind of to himself. Now he's one of our most, you know, congenial players and everybody loves him and all the all the different position groups, you know, mess with Shimon. So it's cool to see a kid get into an environment that uh, brings the best out of him. And, I, and a lot of that is credit to Coach Dillingham and the culture that he's built here and to Shimon to step outside of his comfort zone, come all the way across the country. He's a kid from South Florida to come here and allow himself to to be open to being a part of a team because it's not he's not just here for himself. And that's why he's being embraced the way he is. You can tell he's bought into being a part of this team and playing for his teammates. Coach, Markson Douglas, obviously a big guy, um, you know, big, fast, strong. But what does he bring to this offense beyond the physical just eye test, I guess? Yeah, I mean, I think maturity. Um, he's played, obviously, coming from Florida State, played in big-time games against big-time opponents, you know, had a chance to play. Um, you know, was competing to go to the college football playoff last year. So you got a guy that, the, the you know, no situation is going to be too big for him. He's already been there and done that. You know, he's he's gone against the the war daddy, uh, you know, edges of the ACC and, and SEC and some of those other conferences. So I think just that, obviously, you know, his size, his length, his experience, um, you know, I think is just it brings it brings, I think, a calming effect to our room is like, hey, we're, we're not going to get into a fight and be overwhelmed with a kid like that on our team. He, we're, he's gonna go in there and do his job and, and uh, we feel very confident in his experience and what that brings to our, to our room. Yeah.